peace in my world. So don't forget to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell. Real quick, um, I got a bag of goodies. I've been into crocheting lately and I can't make much, but I've mastered bracelets. I like to call them friendship bracelets. Um, and I have like, look at, this is my life. It's what I do, is I sit in bed or on the couch, I watch TV and I kick bracelets out. Um, oops, and I just dropped one. Uh, oh. My battery is flashing, but I just wanted to say this is like a new thing and I want to learn how to knit and loom maybe. Not the kind with the rubber bands making those cute little bracelets all the young kids are into these days, but like looming using yarn. Like I have all this yarn and I've impressed myself with what I've been able to do thus far. I'd love to take a class and learn more and continue practicing my craft here. But like I just, I can't stop, I can't. And a friend of mine on Facebook was like, you should sell them. Like, I don't want to sell them. I think I might like give them away to like friends or give them out like random acts of kindness to people or maybe do a thing where it's like, I'll do like a uh, yellow, red, and blue for like autism and be like, hey, you want one for a dollar? And I'll put the dollar to like, I'll donate it to like autism awareness and such. Um, I mean, look, like we're going for some of this as way better looking than others. You gotta start somewhere, and uh, it's just funny because it's like the next day I got like a boatload of things, and I'm like, look, mom, look what I made. Um, I have a black and white, no, sorry, black and orange for Halloween. Then I made this baby that I started off showing you, which has three different shades of purple, two shades of oranges, and a black. Because Mary Ellen, my brain trainer, her favorite color is purple, and her favorite holiday is Halloween. So I wanted to make something that she might enjoy. Um, it's funny looking at all of these and how some are better than others and even just in one bracelet. Some are like, oh, it's really good, then it gets bad, then good, then bad. So, um, but this is a great stress reducer. So if you're an anxious person like me and you want to like do an activity that where you're working with your hands and you're keeping your mind busy, I highly suggest getting into knitting, crocheting, or something of that sort because it is very relaxing even just the crochet hooks like all my stuff I don't know if I showed you I probably showed you um over here on the floor this this bad mamma jamma where I stole um battery flashing camera dying but this and like I store all my stuff stuff and then where is it I have my crochet hooks and what I love about these is um so I don't know if you can if it'll focus but like it's around right it's round but then it has this spot here you see that and I just love like taking my thumb I don't know if you can see, and like just rubbing like that. To me, just doing this alone is very calming. And I think I mentioned, I bought, I don't know if I mentioned to you guys, but coming next week maybe in the mail, I got one of those fidget, gidget, gadgets. Um, and I think it's the original and not a knockoff. It looks like the original. And it has a section there that has like a, a thing very similar to this so I think supposed to replicate a worry stone like something you would just rub because that's very soothing so like while I'm like doing my ish at times I find myself doing that because one side is flat and smooth and then the other side does have um print it has like the size of the crochet hook and um I got a lot of crochet hooks I have to give one back that was lent to me and then Lori is helping me with the project, so she's borrowing one of my hooks. But I got all the hooks for crocheting. I got all the yarn that I'm gonna, if I continue at the rate that I am right now, I'm gonna be going through all this yarn so fast. And I have more I'm on a wish list on Amazon. And but I've like been getting creative. And using like more than one colored yarn at a time and it's wild um and then what I love 
Also, if I have these goodies, and I don't know what they all do, but my favorite thing is this. These are scissors, and just one left, and like, perfect. Everything's cut, and it's like beautiful. It's not choppy, nothing's uneven. I love these pair of scissors. I was trying to play around and make something one day when I was at work, and uh, I said to my mom, I'm like, do you have scissors? Because when you're done, you need to cut your yarn, and then there's all these like little like safety pin things in this ruler with holes. Honestly, I don't little little things that I think you use if you like are transitioning from one colored like yarn to another. So I'm getting pretty good at like casting on and I can almost do slip knots in my sleep. For those who don't crochet or yarn or whatever, I'm probably speaking gibberish right now, but I went from making a chain to turning that chain into a friendship bracelet. I still don't know if I'm like properly securing everything. So, um, we'll see. Because before I were to give anything to someone, I'd want to make sure it's like intact and it wouldn't like unravel on itself. And then I got these bad man pajamas. Um, these are knitting needles. And. These are my knitting needles. They come in all different sizes. I was trying, I'm trying to teach myself stuff through YouTube tutorials. And the one video I was working, that I watched, they're like, oh, get out your 9mm knitting needles. And I did. Um, and they're wood, like I said. Oh, squeaky. She's over there. Um... And they're very smooth, but they're like big, like they're really long, and they're big, and they're kind of a little difficult to work with. I know there's like another kind of knitting needles where there's like a littler needle, like some sort of a ribbon stringy thing attached to the other one. I don't know how those work. Um, and then there's like a smaller size that grandma was working with. Um, so these aren't as wide, but they're just as equally awkwardly long, and like, um... I'm still trying to like learn how to cast uh, the yarn onto this. My grandma was able to do it, but then she forgot like what to do next. So I think if I can get her or Grace, someone to start something, and I just like through watching other people and like reading, I should be able to pick it up because I'd love to like knit something as well as like crochet. Um, so fun. And then I kind of have questions about knitting needles. Like, is this normal? You're probably wondering why I have so many. I got a whole pack and it came with all those little accessories. I just assumed there was like one set of knitting needles in the world, but apparently there isn't. And I guess depending on what you're making, it determines what kind of size needle you use. Just like crocheting, there's different size hooks. Um, and yeah, so I definitely want to take classes, learn more about this. Um, but it's a new like hobby of mine. And I've been thoroughly enjoying it. I do it at night um, when I'm feeling anxious and stressed out, or just it's a fun, like I actually like enjoy it. And not only is it like good for anxiety and stress and all that, it's fun. And so when I'm like watching TV, like I just I like this. So if you have any comments, questions, suggestions about my new shoes or anything I've mentioned in this video, feel free to leave those down below. And while you're down there, don't forget to check the description box so you can find me on social media. I'm pretty much everywhere. Come say hey. Don't forget to like this video so it lets me know that you enjoyed it and I'll make more like it. Also, if you haven't subscribed already and you'd like to, click on my face. If you like watching something else, go right ahead. And thank you guys so much for being here and for all your love and support. And as always, till next time, keep it quirky.